yeah, this year I've been exploring how to care for my hair myself. Um, just so I can learn something because I think what unfortunately happened with the whole hair process. I used to have hair, don't have hair, went back and forth with hair, experimented with hair, all those things. But one of the things that a lot of people forget is to uh, understand their hair, get to learn their hair rather than just throwing stuff on it. Uh, so today I usually wrap, put a wrap around my hair, but today I may go without it. Then think about it, how I feel. How I feel. And um, some people love to put hair gel in the hair. Now my hair is very thin and short. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the thick hair, thick natural hair like most people have. And so, as of now, my new method is castor oil. I heard of Jamaica, Jamaican black castor oil. That's good because when my hair was very, extremely short and growing back in, I did use to make Jamaican black castor oil. But for the time being, especially for price reasons, I just use general castor oil on my hair. And it's my gel because I used to make the um, flaxseed oil gel and that was a process too because it only lasts a week in the fridge. It does, it did make my hair look nice when I had a good length, but um, it's a bit of a process. I just, I just did this so it's drying out. Uh, it's when it dries out it just gives it a thicker look so it's very simple to do just do some Jamaican cast no regular castor oil I got from the market little bottle and I put it in my hair I wet my hair put a little bit more in and it gives you this look and it seems to give my hair a fuller texture shiny look this may not stay dry, I'm um, shiny, but it'll just still have that thick look that I'm looking for because I love the thick um, natural hair that I used to have. I don't have anymore. And it's a great, you can style it yourself, you know, lay it around. Some people are really good at styling with the toothbrush and all that stuff. I'm just a typical old person. I may actually just put a scarf on because I just love wearing scarves around my hair. Um, the head wraps. And head wraps are very simple. Um, they tend to, you just put them around and you can do various types of knots and so forth. So I just want to let you know for those people with short, uh, thin hair, uh, you may want to just try some castor oil. I don't know how people feel about wetting the hair daily. Uh, they may just be satisfied with the thickness and not do it again. I don't do this every day. I may do this, start this out one day, and then go back to my head wrap. And it's in the drying process. I have an air conditioning blow dryer, but I think I'll just, you know, pat it a little bit and then get going. So uh, you can look up castor oil for the hair and see what it says online for 2018 so you get the most up-to-date post. And uh, have you used castor oil versus Jamaican castor oil? I know Jamaican black castor oil is supposed to be good. But have you used just general castle on your hair? Let's talk about it. Thank you.